Hey there, Cancer. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is your general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cancer for the week of June 27th. This one really isn't resonating. Check out your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. We're looking at the overall energy here. I'm also going to pull cards for your person. I'll clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe for me while I have you here since I post weekly. If you want the extended reading, click the join button down below. It's 10 bucks. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. And if you want your own private reading, you can find all of those details in the description box. All right. So looking at this overall energy here, you're going to be, you're going to be getting a message communication, possibly an apology. Eight of Wands is movement, it's momentum, it's messages. And the Ace of Swords is truth. It's someone being very honest with you, speaking their truth. It's a revelation, something you may not have known. And this may come out of the blue. Sometimes the Ace of Swords is information that I don't know, kind of smacks you upside the head. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. I honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And Five of Cups, this for me is probably someone from your past. Five of Cups is a card of the past. It's thinking about what's lost or what's gone, what I should have said or I should have done or I shouldn't have done this or I shouldn't have said that. This can be somebody who is expressing regret about the past particularly with the justice card showing up here, major for Libra. Justice is also about truth, honesty. It can be an apology, um, somebody balancing the scales between the two of you, or simply like giving you closure if this was a situation where you didn't get the answers to or it's been bothering you. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I wonder if this person had issues with self-esteem. You could have possibly had those in the past. Um, sometimes whenever we don't love ourselves very much, it's hard for us to love other people, and that may have been this person's issue. Let's go ahead and take a look at their energy a little bit closer. All right, here's what we have so far. This is the Modern Witch Tarot. I'll be using the Light Seers Tarot to clarify everything. You can find links to both of those down below. So we've got the world here, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy. You can see the glyphs in the corners. The world is leveling up. It's learning, um, entering a new phase here. I'm getting the sense that maybe this person is older and wiser than the last time you spoke with them. The world is like learning lessons, becoming a better version of yourself. It's ending a large cycle since it's the last card in the major arcana. By the way, with the chariot showing up here, this is your major arcana. This is you and your power. The chariot is also about distance. Sometimes it's long distance relationships. So this person may not be close to you geographically. They may be actually physically showing up here. There may just be some energetic or emotional distance between the two of you here. The world is also a card about long distance, but it's showing up here with the hermit major arcana for Virgo. So this person could be a Virgo, but the hermit is also self-reflection, um, becoming a better version of yourself. Like I just don't think that this person brought you very good energy the last time. I don't think that you got to see the very best of them. We've got the five of pentacles. So fives are often about conflict. Five of pentacles is feeling alone, lonely, being left out in the cold or leaving somebody out in the cold. This person may have ghosted you or you may have had to like walk away from them. Five of Pentacles is also a sense of lack, like lack, it's loss. I wonder if this person didn't give you enough time or energy or effort since we're talking about Pentacles, tangible and physical. They could have had money problems here. Let's go ahead and we'll pull a couple more cards. Tell me about Cancer's person.
we've got the two of pentacles. It's possible that this person was very wishy-washy in the past. They could have juggled you with somebody else. Sometimes the two of pentacles means that you have more than one person. Or it can mean someone who was very busy, especially with that five of pentacles. They may have not been able to give you enough time or energy or effort. They had multiple responsibilities to juggle. One more card, and then we're going to clarify everything. So tell me about this person. Oops. All right, we've got the emperor, Aries. That's the divine masculine, the father, the husband. It's someone who brings order to chaos. I have a feeling this has been bothering your person. The way things ended between the two of you, or they've missed you, or they felt like they've made a wrong turn here. The emperor is bringing order to chaos at somebody trying to uh, fix whatever went wrong between the two of you. I also, again, I feel like they've leveled up. They've become a better version of themselves, maybe showing up here as a lot more in control. Um, the emperor is also someone who they may find you attractive. They may think that you are a, you know, a partner, someone that they could raise children with. This person may have also gotten married or had a child. You may have gotten married or have a child. All right, let's clarify this. We're going to clarify with the Light Seer's Tarot, and I'm also going to pull a card for how this person is currently feeling about you. A little preview of the extended. Okay, we've got the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aries energy. This is specifically a Sagittarius card. Knight of Wands, though, is someone who's in and out of your life who can be kind of unreliable. I wonder, again, with that Two of Pentacles showing up, if that was the problem with this person. All right, tell me about this person. I just think this is going to come out of the blue. The Magician, which is Aquarius and Gemini energy for me as a reader. This could be an air sign here. And the Justice card as well. More Libra. That showed up earlier. Again, there's a need to speak the truth here, to be honest, ethical, open. Even like with the Justice card showing up in the Emperor here, this person actually may have gotten a divorce. Or they may have had a child custody issue that was going on. The magician is being very intentional here. I just feel like they've grown. Um, the magician is, you know, someone who makes things happen, um, who's very intentional with their words, their deeds, but especially words. The emperor as well. And maybe this person just wasn't able to give you everything the last time around. They weren't able to be very organized. The, that Knight of Wands energy is like very in and out, very unreliable. They could have even been a bit of a player with that card. Let's clarify this. We'll pull one more card and then we're going to pull for how they're feeling about you. That's too many. Okay, we've got the Queen of Wands showing up here, Leo Sag Aries energy. So they showed up as the Knight of Wands and now the Queen of Wands. Again, there's this narrative that they've grown, that they've um, changed. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
I just think that they're bringing you more adult energy here. If they don't have fire in their chart or they're not a fire sign, you could have fire. Or this is someone taking action towards you. And it's showing up with the judgment card here. More Libra energy for me as a reader. Um, the judgment card is the resurrection of a relationship. It's making a huge decision here. This person may want a second chance here. The very least you're getting truth and communication, but there could, I think they're wondering how this is going to go. They, they may want to see if you would be open to giving them a second chance here. All right, let's figure out what their current feelings are for you. All right, so what are their current feelings for you? <laughs> Got the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. King of Wands is someone who's very attractive, someone who's very charming. We had the Queen of Wands earlier. They may see themselves as your perfect match here. They may see you as their perfect match. King and Queen of Wands, you have the two court cards from the same suit. They're feeling like the two of you definitely suit each other. Pardon the pun. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. In the extended, we'll be delving in a little bit further here. You can get that by looking for the link in the description box. Also there you can find all of the details on ordering your own private reading. Thank you so much for watching and blessed be.